What is up guys? Sardo back again, also known as the Quiet Gentleman. And today, I finally got it. It finally came out. Although I'm not the first to review it, sadly. Believe me, I tried to be. I tried so hard. But today I finally got it. It's reformatted Mastermind Creations R48 Optimus Pexus Super Cop. And for any of those who are in the uh, IDW know, this is Orion Pack slash Optimus Prime. Uh, it's more or less Austin's Prime or Ryan Pax kind of in his early days. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the box as we always do. Uh, got this cool picture here. This is very nice actually. And you get this little symbol here which just shows that this is a Mastermind Creations reformatted 10th anniversary. So they definitely say they say one of the best for the 10th. Turn the box on the side. Get a picture of the figure itself. All the various poses it can do. Let me tell you, it can do just about any pose you set your mind to. And I, if I if I took the time to do it, this, this review would be about three hours long because this thing can pose, this thing can pose. But enough of the box. Let's get rid of that because you're not here for that. Here's the card that it always comes with. It's a nice card. That kind of credit card is plastic. You can pause it here if you want to see these stats, if you're interested in that. Also, it wouldn't be Mastermind Creations without the instruction booklet slash comic book. Um, let's see, which, which size instructions on? Okay, no matter, this is a comic book side. Uh, and this comic book, as always, the artwork is very good. Get a picture of Grimlock here. Um, they have shown some other uh, other characters here. One of the most important to me is this Scorpionock. I'm hoping that we get a IW Scorpionock. These are instructions. And instructions are fairly easy to follow, not hard at all. On this review, um, I may or may not show transformation. I probably won't because at this point, like I said before, the figure's been out. Other reviewers have already shown it, so there's that. But except for transformation, not hard. It, uh, this thing is so articulated, actually. They actually have a section in instructions that is catered just for, let's see, articulation, as you can see. Yeah, this, both these pages are just dedicated to teaching you how things should move. I mean, Wow, am I right? So yeah, that's the instructions. Let's get on to the other accessories because you know it comes with them. Here come with uh, these double ion cannons. I've already stuck them together. They have a little matching peg on the side to um, to take it apart. You just slide it apart. So they're both identical. So I'm just gonna focus on one. Uh, to get it to open, you just pull your handle down like so, and pull your barrel out, and there you go. It's casted very nicely. Got some silver paint here right before you get to the shaft itself. Overall, just really good looking. Like I said before, they're both the same. Now just put your handle down, extend the barrel. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Also, this may just be a um, Tilson Prime exclusive deal. I'm not sure. But you also get another pair of blasters, exact same. I haven't opened them yet. And they're more of a. Um, kind of a gray color instead of, you know, instead of being black. So in case I lose one, hey, I guess I got a yeah, gray set, so that's nice. You also get the matrix of leadership right here. Uh, for the most part, it's okay. It's uh, The casing is gold inside a, a clear, somewhat kind of darkish blue plastic, which is nice. Uh, now to give it the handles, they come separate and they're right here, let me grab those. You just gotta take take each side and just kind of peg them on, like so. When he's going his chest, you gotta take the uh, sides off, which kind of sucks. But you know, oh well. But this is how this is how it looks completely with the thing on, with the arms on it. I think it looks pretty good. Got no real complaints there. And also, you really can't have a prime without matrix. Hence, while hence while I'll still fight to the to the death. That this thing isn't so much around packs, it is prime too, because once you put the matrix in, it's prime. So there's that. You also get two blasters that go on his forearms. Yet again, if you're if you're in a note from the comic book, these blasters are, to are totally just ornaments. They don't even fire. They're just for decoration. Which is kind of funny in that uh one ish I think it was in the Chaos Theory storyline where he had the blasters but they didn't really work. He even made fun of himself about that. But they look good. Uh, nice silver paint, nice detailing. On the back here you have a little, on the peg that goes on, 
You can move it up or either down. Just you know, whatever you have you want it. And they're both matching, both look pretty good. Alright, last but not least, you get two fingers. So <laughs> I don't know why they gave you two extra fingers. Maybe they're prone to breaking. I hope not. But just in case they break or you lose two fingers, you got two extra fingers. So uh, yeah, that's a thing, huh? And here he is. Um, in, this, in the box it comes packaged in this mode, so that's how I'm gonna start out. And in terms of alt mode, um, he looks, I think it looks good. Um, this is not my preferred alt mode for Prime, not at all. And I think in the comic book, uh, little issue where he forgot the matrix and everything, that's told in the backstory. I believe he actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think he actually has some type of a trailer that came up on top of this. I could be wrong. I thought I'm telling MMC to make one because I probably wouldn't buy it, but if they do, I might buy it depending on how it looks. So I don't know. But yeah, it, it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's, it's, I think it's as accurate as it needs to be to that scene we saw him transform in this mode. So good enough. Uh, believe it or not, there's actually paint on this. And how I know is because uh, one of my wheels actually has a, a little bit of red paint rub. So there's paint on this damn thing. And I think most of this red is actually paint. Uh, you got silver for their underneath here, the truck here, a little silver paint. Uh, like some clear blue plastic on top for the, uh, I guess you would call it the cab or the cockpit <laughs> and the headlights and whatnot. Um, you got silver paint here on top for the smokestacks, small as they are. <laughs> Uh, even got kind of a little gas tank deal going on right here, which is kind of cool. Got the pipes going back here. Uh, silver paint on top of here, which will, which will be the shin. And yet again, I think I think most of this red actually is paint. I could be wrong, but I think it is because of the, the red rub on my wheels. Like I said, for overall, it looks okay. It's not, it's not my favorite auto mode. But the robot mode is different where it shines. Uh, as far as weapon storage goes, you can grab your guns. Recompress them. We're gonna, grab, we're gonna grab both, and just kind of using these little tabs here. Just kind of lay on top of it and push in, and using uh, the holes here on top of the barrel, just lay it on top of these pegs here on top of the truck. So you get that right there. Also, you can take your ornamental blasters. Yeah, ornamental. <laughs> Seriously, seriously, guys, in comic books, these things really don't fire. They don't do anything. He just has them on there to make himself look cool. All right, put one there, and you can put one. Let's see right how. And since the since the peg has a, uh, a tab on it, you can slide it up or down. This is pretty cool. Now, as for your matrix, since you can't store it inside with the grips on, you have to take them off. And the grips also have somewhere to go, though I don't care for it because they tend to fall off. But they can go right here using the pegs on the side and the hole here. Like, let's see here, like uh, so, like that. And let's see here, like that. So you get something like this. I think that's okay. Although, technically speaking, having the guns on top here, if you look really close, they can't fire. <laughs> Cause they totally will hit the piece of truck itself. So that's kind of an oversight, but no, whatever. Now for your matrix, you just uh, open this part right here and slide it back on both sides, which I just kind of like this. Take your finger and pull this section down in order to, to in order to place your matrix inside. I guess it doesn't matter which side it goes on, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna do this side. And you just kind of push on top of there. Oh my God, I mean, there we go. Hold on. I think I just jammed it. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. I think I just jammed it in there. And yeah, I'm leaving this on camera because I think I just totally jammed it in there. Uh, I'll fix it later. Anyhow, <laughs> I think you can still close it up. Yeah, there you go. So I put the matrix in wrong, but it doesn't matter because it's in there. So that's all, it's all good. Now, uh, one negative side. Once this is in robot mode, uh, you gotta untransform it just a little bit to get the matrix out. But I'll, I'll show you what I mean later with that one. But uh, I think it looks okay with everything hooked to it. 
And the guns are a bit much, like I said before, they could never fire because they just hit themselves. <laughs> now for a comparison, I have my MP Hot Rod. Uh, yeah. Now they're not really meant to compare because this is a this is a Takara MP or actually KO of MP. But uh I think overall this looks okay. In fact, let me see. Yeah, this is fine. I was gonna say let me go transform something from MMC, but I'm not gonna do that, so <laughs> so this is how it looks. So not to keep you guys here all day, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy transformed and we can check out his robot mode. And here he is all transformed. I know I didn't show transformation this time. And this actually this is this is a pretty good one. Uh, MMC actually put some extra out there engineering on this one. Um, but if anyone wants to see transformation, let me know. I got no problem making a separate video for that. But if you want transformation, especially a good one, check out my buddy Kato from Kato's Collection. I have a link to his channel down here below, as I always do. And his transformation guide is pretty spot on. So if you have a little trouble, check that out. But until then, here we are. And honestly, this is where the money, this is the money shot. This is where you, this is why you buy this. You buy it for this robot mode. Because it looks, it's, <laughs> it's a IDW Chaos Theory uh, Stormbringer pretty much spot on for what you want for, for IDW Prime. And let's just go ahead and get a full look at the silhouette itself. Let's turn him around. He looks fairly clean from the back. Uh, one shortcoming. Uh, this one's one for comic accuracy. I do kind of wish the wheels right here were actually more inside of the inside the arm here, arm and shoulder, because in the comic book the wheels are actually incorporated into the shoulder itself. That's really about it. I mean, honestly, it's clean as I'll get out. I wish I had a lazy Susan to spin this thing. <laughs> well, yeah, this thing looks this thing looks great. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, before we get on to articulation and everything, this, this is how good thing looks. Uh, let me bring back out his weapons here. Uh, if you don't want to put him in his hand, you do have the option. He can go all uh, onslaught style, <laughs> kind of like Bruticus, and you can pay the weapons onto the back. You just move your uh, fender up here. Using this groove here, you can slide on right here. It didn't stay that well, but there you go. Let me put the camera up a little bit. You have that option. And you can do it on both sides. Uh, take the other gun if you want to. Do the exact same, exact same thing. Get on there. There we go. So there you go. Uh, also, if you really want to, you can take it off on both sides. Using this little uh, peg here, which is the focus right there, take one, to help take the back hole right here on the, on the cannon, and push it through. I don't know how good it's showing up on camera. Sorry about that, guys. I see the problem here. Uh, I was going on from the inside instead of the outside. What you want to do is take this hole right here and pick it onto the outside peg. That's my bad. But anyway, when you do it like that, let's see if it's getting on there. Get a little bit of a what I call it more of a kind of a predator deal. Or here, put the camera up. You can kind of see him firing over the shoulder, which is kind of neat. Still not my thing for Prime, but you know, something you can do. And kind of like before, you can definitely do it on both sides. Just go on the side here and just peg that on. Let's see this up. And there you go. Now you got double. Now you got double mounted predator esque caster cannons, <laughs> and uh, you can bring back in your ornamental display guns and put them right here. And yeah, I'm gonna keep calling that. So yeah, put them right there, and you can put another one on the other side, just like in truck mode. So you get the full deal like this. And I don't think it looks bad. I'm not fan, except for I'm not a fan of the cannons being on his back. But I do like the ones on his forearm, so that's pretty cool. Also, for your matrix holder, you can take them. Kind of control mode, just kind of go right here. But the peg's still here. You can just peg it on. I'm not a fan of it, like I said before. I feel like it's going to fall off. But it's good that, you know, everything has a place to go. So, you know, overall... It gets points for storage, so you know it, it's it's not it's not horrible looking, but I'm just not a fan of it. Let's see here. 
Now, if you want to, it said for the matrix, it's still in his chest. If you want to, to, to you know, take it out. In this, in this mode, you gotta kinda untransform it just a little bit. You gotta move your arms up like so. And come back here and just unpeg your wheels. Like I said, it's kind of a bother, but I doubt anyone's gonna be doing this that much, so, you know, kinda, kinda tolerate it. About like so. So that way, let's see, so you can push these. Let's see, let's go back in here, I think. Or was it forward? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I think you have to push it forward. Let's see. Let's see, I should move the arms back some more, actually. Okay, there we go. Now, you should be able to open your matrix chamber up and take out your matrix should you want to do that. I think I got, my, I think I got the chest piece pushed back on the other side of that well. There we go. So, yeah, you gotta do all that. If you want to get your matrix back out, but like I said, something you can totally do. Me personally, I'm just gonna leave it in there. So that's that. As for his ion blaster, uh, <clears throat> it has a hole in the handle, very similar to the uh, MP figures. To to, do, to for him to hold that, you gotta open the hands up. Let's see. And his hands are very articulate. We're gonna talk about that too here in a sec. But to do it, you just want to open it up, like so. There's a small blue peg right here. You want to push through the handle hole, like like here, so. See if I can get that on camera. Sorry for these angles. This is kind of a, he's not like the biggest figure in the world, but for some reason, like I'm having a hard time getting him to stay in focus. Let's see. Ah, let's see if I can get in there. There we go. Got it. Got him. Okay. So yeah, the, I know that's an that's a ugly finger placement, so forgive me. But yeah, as you can see, he, he, he can hold his gun just fine. And the other side, same way. In case somebody wondering. But for right now, let's go ahead and undo my hard work and unpick that. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of the figure, this face sculpt is, that's just round the money. That's, that's definitely Optimus Prime. Cybertronian, yes, but that's Optimus Prime all day. Love it. I even love the fact that he has a grill for the centerpiece, even though truck mode has no grill. Something to think about, right? But I like that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I wish, mate, um, there are some scenes from the comics where he actually does have uh, smokestacks on his uh, upper arm, like right in here, going up to here. He doesn't have it here, but you know, uh, he doesn't, they didn't always draw him that way. But I know in Chaos Theory, when he's uh, uh, throwing a world behind the, throwing a world before the Senate, he has a smokestack. So, you know, sometimes he didn't. It's just whatever, because however they wanted to draw him that day. But speaking of his articulation, since we're coming to that part now, at the head, you have a, you can do a 360. And the neck can bend up about that far and down that far. Which I think is more than enough. Come out here to the arms. You can spin a full 360. Uh, it's got like two separate hinges <laughs> here in the arm, so you can get them like way up there, and whatnot. As you can see, um, bicep. Mine is very stiff, but you can get a full. Actually, can you get a full 360? Like that? Let's see, it wants to stop. I think because mine's so damn stiff, but about that far. Maybe I think because it's running into this right here into the shoulder pad but I think that's more than enough for realistic poses uh elbow so you got make sure, make sure it's fully extended you can bend it I think it's double jointed and yes it is it is double jointed which is awesome the hands here was some fun right here matter of fact let's go ahead and move the gun in case it gets in the way the hands all right when you first come to your wrist you can go ahead and you can bend it out full like that even how you, how you pop your wrist back like this, you can fall into that. You can go that far, far, that far forward. Now I open the hands up. Each finger is individually articulated. And, move the camera up. And they're capable of fully splaying out. Now, some people might consider these a bit too spindly. 
and you wouldn't be wrong for it. Uh, I've been messing with so much uh, Storm Clickable stuff and Bandai stuff with the extra hands that are already set in a pre-articulated format. I'm kind of used to those, but these are appreciated nonetheless. So yeah, uh, the hands can fold all the way down like so, so you can totally have him waving himself. So that's really nice. Uh, you can spin them out. I think you can get a full 360. You sure can. Which that's great. Uh, actually, going back to the arm, mine's the same work. Mine's stiff, but if you work with it, you can push it all the way up, uh, independent of the shoulder pad, which is good. That's what mine's is very stiff right there. As you can see, uh, same uh, side of the arm. Now we're just raising both up. Come down to your waist here on the waist at the bottom here you can spend it so you can get full 360 out of it uh let's see i'm sure you can actually hold on a second let me unlock this right here that might be in the way let's try it now there we go i know we got full 360. yep it has that in spades now well what else you can do here you can pull the waist up from the bottom here like so and you get a ab crunch about that far now this is not all you get I mean this guy's articulate now you come up here to the midsection where the pecs are you can pull up again and there we go you get basically a second ab crunch or so I should say pectoral crunch at which point you can bend the ab crunch along with the pectoral like so like you, now you totally break up your back aesthetic here that's it's pretty much broken up now but when you do that as you can see you I mean you can totally get the toe touch and pose I mean it's just kind of ridiculous uh one the other cool thing here at the pectoral crunch uh I believe it's on a ball joint let's see you get to the back here yeah this is on a ball joint right here so what that would mean is you can actually rotate this is a full 360 as well mostly for transformation but you can use it no one said you couldn't <laughs> so yeah this this guy's ab and uh pectorals are very much on point now I come down to the legs here oh oh before i leave the waist he also has teapot which i call that when you can rock to the side rock to the other side even pectoral, you know, you can rock to the side, rock to the other side. So, yeah, you, you're never going to be a miss for articulation. Now, finally, coming down to the legs. All right, you can kick out that far, like so comfortably. Uh, kick back. Let's see about how far you can go. About that far. I feel like this is supposed to move, but it doesn't. It's right here. Doesn't move at all. It's kind of weird because this thing is so articulate. But yeah, all right, kick out that far due to this piece right here not moving. So I don't think it moves. Let's see. Do you move? No, you don't move. This kind of sucks. But and again, I think that's honestly enough. Also, another cool thing: if you look inside the crotch area here, or the way you're kicking it out, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But this whole piece right here moves. I think it's really nice. So that's pretty good. And of course, you can you can get the whole leg out. And yeah, got full trial there, man. See everything, everything. Now, him down to the knee. It's a cool thing too. Like it again, my tolerance is tight, which I'm, which I'm not mad at. When you bend your knee, right here, there's a, do it very cautiously because I said mine's tight. It's a piston that you connect right here from the leg to the knee. And when bending that, I said, well, just be, be mindful, be mindful of it. I don't want anybody to break it, but just watch it as you bend it. And yeah, it's, it's, oops, whoa, slide that back. <laughs> it gets you a full, a full knee bend and the piston comes with it. I mean, how, how nice is that? And then when you kick back, it again, he still kicks his own ass if it ends that kind of thing. 
So yeah, let's, now let's bend this back. Like I said, well, my, my stuff is so tight. All right, oh, there we go. Okay. Now coming down to the feet, you can bend your toe all the way up like so, or even the heel, do the transformation. And in fact, you can pull the foot out if you want to. Let's see here, if you can get out. There we go. So you can pull your foot all the way out to actually extend it. And articulation, that much left, that much right, which I think is, again, more than enough. So as you can see, this thing is basically only limited to your imagination in terms of poses. Uh, on my Instagram, um, I'll probably take a whole bunch of pictures of this thing and show you some cool poses that he can do. But trust me, uh, it can probably do more because I'm not the best poser in the world. I wish I was, but I'm not. I'm still learning. But overall, it's a good figure. Um, coming back to his waist, actually, right in here. These can move up a little bit to kind of get out of your way if you need them to. So that's just one more thing to show. All right. So with all that being showed, I'm gonna pull this back and get some figures in here so I can show you guys some size comparisons. One more thing in my haste to get to uh, size comparisons. With his legs, you do have possible. I, <clears throat> I should point that out, but you do. You can spin it like so, let's see. So you can get, see mine's tight, but you can get that much comfortable. You can probably get 360, but mine's just so damn tight, man. I hate to spin any more than that. So, yeah. So I'll show it off. To be fair, I'm not mad it's tight, because that just means it's gonna have a little bit more longevity, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't mad at that. Here he is with my first comparison. This is a uh, MNC Tyranitron, or IEW, more than the Megatron. Uh, I think this is a good place to compare. Um, I have to say this, with all of uh, Prime's engineering, uh, MMC, I, I hope they have set a bar for themselves that I hope they're ready to stay with because this guy is so, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, I want to say it's almost so extra <laughs> compared to you know, what I, what I want to call old MMC. I mean, you know, in terms of articulation, but just just from looks, they look good together. I think I think that I think that's fair. Though now I wouldn't mind them retackling Megatron and giving us something more akin to this in articulation. But like I said, more this still looks good. So uh, let's bring in let's see someone else. Let's bring in uh, Hasbro's uh, Combined War Ultra Magnus. Uh, this Ultra Magnus, this Ultra Magnus is more in the IDW style. So you see how that looks there. So yeah, that's. Pull the camera back again. Yeah, it looks, don't look too bad. I just think Prime looks so good. My God. Ugh. Uh, yeah, has man, I, I think MNC does need to tackle a, a uh, true IW uh, Ultra Madness, the same as Iron Factory, because we kind of need that. And for my last comparison, here is Prime's dear friend that was once lost, but now he is found. Roller. So, uh, let me. Let me let me move Megatron out of the way here for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, his, his, his roller, he was uh, featured in a, featured prominently in a uh, more than Mystery Eye storyline with Prime when Prime had this form. So uh, it looks kind of good seeing these two together. And speaking of that, I got to figure out what's probably going to go on my shelf. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one to figure out. But yeah, this is all my different MMC comparisons, you know, uh, you got your Megatron, Roller, and Hasbro Ultra Magnus that desperately needs to be upgraded in my collection. I don't think he's big enough anymore now. I, f I feel like he should be almost the size of, I don't know, uh, Carnifex, I, I, don't, I don't know. But yeah, and I, I digress. Let's go ahead and get to that uh, final thought. And here we go back for our final thought. And as you can see, like I said before, he's, he's very opposable. Don't let my rudimentary poses think that he's not, because he really is. Matter of fact, even this pose here, I don't, uh, most of my figures probably couldn't do this. You know, aside from like, you know, maybe a G.I. Joe, but even then, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good pose. But, uh, <coughs> uh, I will say this, uh, if you didn't already know, I'm gonna say it, I, he's awesome. Uh, he's a strong recommend for me. Um, he does have some negatives, and for me, I think it, just, it might just be mine. And it may not be negatives depending on who you are. 
uh, I think some of the tolerances, at least on mine, on some areas, are kind of too tight, even though it's not so much a negative to me. I know some people might be. For me, um, the areas that are tight just means I haven't really fleshed out some of his greater articulation points. And I plan to do that here shortly. But uh, yeah, uh, just, you know, tolerance is pretty tight in certain areas, so you know, be careful. Especially with your uh, pistons and the knees here, you know, you know, when you when you bend that knee, always be mindful of that. Just take your time. No point in breaking it. Although MMC stuff is pretty good. It's built Tonka tough, in my opinion. So, like I said before, this is this is definitely worth getting, and I hope MMC can keep this up with this kind of <laughs> with this kind of articulation. And even some engineering used in transformation, even though I didn't show it, I'm sure you've seen it by now. Uh, it makes me think that maybe perhaps they're wrong, which we saw early, no, or maybe it was late last year. It seemed to be as articulated as this Prime. So I'm thinking like a lot of new releases are going to be like this, and I'm very excited. So before I get out of here, I have to recommend my people, as I normally do, uh, check out the Recepticons. They put out quality content. If you're not subscribed or watching, you're missing out. I have a link down below, as I normally do. That's Kato's Collection, Larkin's Lager, and Inger Tavi. Also, check out 3 Live Stream. I have a link to that uh, below as well. As I always say, when you're checking out 3 Live Stream, make sure you got your big boy pants on. We're talking about toys predominantly, but language can get a bit salty. I don't need anybody getting offended and coming back here saying, Sardo, why didn't you tell me that place was so nasty? Well, you get it now. Get kind of nasty over there. <laughs> also, check out M3 Reviews. He's also part of 3 Live Stream. I have a link down for his channel below as well. Uh, he's actually recently started doing videos again, so check him out. But call it 3 Live Stream. Things can get kind of salty in the language department. And my man likes titties. I mean, he talks about them a lot. I like titties too. So don't be all shocked if he brings up a titty conversation. He might. I'm not going to swear he will, but he might. So yeah, with all that said, let me do my own selfless plug. Thank everyone. Thank everyone for watching my videos, subscribing, even sharing for those of you who do that. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You guys make this worthwhile. And <laughs> thank you. That's just the bottom line. Thank you, everybody. This has been the Sardo News, but also known as the Black Gentleman. Out here doing God's work, reviewing these figures. Until next time, peace out.